Yeah, hi, Paul Butler from Road Taker, and we thought we'd, uh, it was about time we put something out to let you guys know what we've been up to for the last few months. And obviously, the world has changed massively from last time we uh, we, we spoke, and uh, the whole coronavirus thing has been uh, it's been obviously uh, horrendous for a lot of people. Yeah, for us, it's been uh, it's been a different experience than what we expected. In terms of, we've been fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to help in our own way by uh, producing parts for this ventilator challenge. Next thing, we've got orders for two hundred fifty thousand various different parts for different companies that's, that's, that's kept us absolutely flat out for the last six, seven weeks. To the point actually where in the middle of it all we, we, we were we bought a brand new machine, which is a, a Nakamura MX100. Fantastic high volume production machine, producing some pretty uh, impressive parts actually. In fact, this is one of the parts here. We made on the machine, um, we made a thousand of these straight off. We did a deal on the machine on Thursday, delivered it on the Friday stroke Saturday and installed it over the weekend. We were reducing these on the following Tuesday, Wednesday, and we knocked a thousand of these out, literally non-stop over three weeks, day and night, 24 seven, the thing ran tirelessly. It was fantastic to see. Hi, I'm Mark Cobbins. I just started at Road Tech Engineering two weeks ago. Really enjoying my time so far given the opportunity to work on this fantastic machinery. Hi, I'm Jasmine and I'm the finance manager here at Rotec Engineering. Hi, I'm Robin Mitchell. I am the new general manager for Rotec Engineering. Uh, I have a, an automotive background and I'm, I'm bringing that skill set into the team. As well as all this, all this uh, other interesting stuff we've been doing, uh, we've actually been building our uh, new extension. The steel structure has actually gone up, and would you believe it, in the last week? It's unbelievable the way these guys put these buildings up. Obviously, we've done a lot of uh, a lot of proprietary work ourselves, and we've been investing in our own construction equipment, doing our own footings, building our own buildings, etc. But these guys are using the steel frame are particularly good and uh, do, do a great job and get things moving really quickly. So yeah, it's been a busy couple of months and obviously things are now returning to, I say normal, if you can call it normal, whatever normal is going to be for the future, we don't really know that. So we have got some, you know, some great new customers on board as a result of what we've been doing. And we, yeah, just keep pushing hard on sales, production, trying to keep the place, place as busy as we can really. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you updated in the next few months and see, uh, see how that works out for us.